Today's presentation at Rayplex University is all about gel coats. Today, we're going to have an in-depth look at the three types of waterproof gel coats, catalyst measure and mix tools, pigments for tinting gel coat. So let's get started. Tintable gel coats are available in three stock color types, white, which is pure white, and pure black, along with neutral, which, is not, which has not any pigments added to it. Brushing is generally used for hand gel coating a mold using a bucket and high quality paintbrush. As an applicator tool, this is one of the most common application methods used for hand laminating. Brushing gel coat is very thick and is often used in the repair and surface damage, which includes nicks, voids and dings. Stock colors are white, black and neutral. Uh, here's our new 100 milliliter catalyst mix and measure chart. It includes a syringe for measuring your catalyst, a chart, and four of the 100 milliliter containers. The catalyst chart shows the corresponding number of cc's uh, to the temperature to the amount of gel time you'll get. One of the most common questions I quite often get asked is, how do I get the correct catalyst ratio? And with this in mind, we went and developed the catalyst measure and mix container system, which is we have both a 100 milliliter and a 500 milliliter kit for mixing either gel coat or resin. These, th these kits come with uh, four mixing tubs like this, plus a graduated container for measuring the, um, the volume of catalyst or, or pardon me, gel coat or uh, resin that you want to blend in. They're graduated on the side with either in milliliters or in ounces, and they have some ratios on there too that work pretty good. Anyways, how do you use this thing? Well, what you do is you start off and we're going to pick this container, which is a 100 milliliter kit, and we're going to fill it up with 100 milliliters of gel coat. So let me go ahead and do that. So you start off by adding 100 milliliters of gel coat into there. Now, you would look up on the chart, and you would want to mix up approximate, mix this up using, let's say, one and a half uh, percent catalyst. So to achieve that, we're going to use some catalyst here and our graduated little syringe that comes in the kit. And it's going to take one and a half of these. And this has is graduated from 0.1 of a milliliter up to one milliliter. So we'll take it in, we'll take it out, squirt that in there, go back in again. We'll take a half, add that. We've now added one and a half percent catalyst to our mixture of gel coat here. Then what we need to do is mix it up. Now mixing takes is it isn't quite as obvious as it seems. Most people want to do this around in a circle. Well all that does is take the material and stratifies it so your catalyst is heavily concentrated on the top and there's very little. What you want to do is mix from the bottom up. So you're always drawing the material from the bottom of the container to the top and that way you're getting a good mixture. This should take about one minute and you should get a good mix with this and it will cure properly. You won't get any yellowing uh, and whatever repair work you're going to do, it, this, will, this will suffice. There we are. We're now ready to use our gel coat. In brushing gel coat onto a mold, you need to get the right thickness. The way to do this is to use one of the mill gauges. First, you press the mill gauge into the side of the mold hold it gently and then pull it away. 
You can see this one right now we only have about 15 mils of gel coat. To build up the thickness we need to brush on a second coat very heavily. Now we'll take the mill gauge and we'll press it into the side again. Pull it away and you can see this time we've got about 20 mils of gel coat on the mold. Some of the extra products that uh, should be in your toolbox are acetone for cleaning spray guns, repair surfaces and hands, styrene for thinning spray gel coat, wax solution or air dry which is added to the and sprayed onto the last coat to give a tack free surface, Rayplex Cly Gloss Additive used for thinning spray gel coat, Cabasil for thickening brushing gel coat, Rayplex Buffing Compound and Buffing Kits for polishing plus gel coat spray guns. Hope you've enjoyed this video, so please subscribe. If you have any comments about this video, or would like to suggest topics for future videos, drop us a line at www.fiberglass.com.